to start the trading dens first video of core content we are going to be going over external versus internal range liquidity now i want you to back test this for yourself as of everything i go over in this you must back test this for yourself now external range liquidity is abbreviated erl internal range liquidity is abbreviated irl Price does two things. It draws from external to internal range liquidity, and it also draws from internal to external range liquidity. Now, what is external range liquidity? External is old highs and lows, and internal range liquidity are fair value gaps. If external is taken, internal becomes the next draw. If internal is taken, external becomes the draw. Now this is all based upon displacement above external or displacement through the internal levels. Now to get the time frame alignment out of the way, we are gonna be going over it right now. Either write this down or screenshot this because this will come in handy later in the course. For time frame alignment, we are gonna be looking at monthly levels to daily levels, weekly levels to four hour levels, daily levels to one hour levels, four hour to 15 minute levels, one hour levels to five minute levels, 15 minute levels to one minute levels, and then five minute to 30 second or 15 second levels. Now right here I have two graphs that I drew up. This is gonna be representing the internal to external range levels. Price is going to be rotating from internal to external range liquidity. So right here, whenever we come up and then get this displacement lower and rotate back into this fair value gap, which is representing the internal range liquidity, we should be looking for models that fit the description to head down to this sell side level. And then over here, whenever we take out this old high representing buy side liquidity, which is the external level, our eyes should look for a fair value gap that is in a discount to then head higher to get to this external draw on liquidity. Now here we are on the monthly chart of NASDAQ. Now I want you to look at what happens after we take out this external range liquidity, which is this swing high, right? We come into this fair value gap creating a swing high. Lower high here, lower high here, we now have a swing high. Where do your eyes draw to? Your eyes should draw to this lower fair value gap. Why not the top fair value gap? Well, that's because if we take out our retracement tool and measure out 50% of this price leg from this low to this high, why not this low down here? Well, because this swing low down here represents this price leg. So you would draw it from this low to this high and this fair value gap represents 50% of this price leg right here. So after we take out this external range liquidity, we can head down to the daily chart to target the internal range liquidity. So right here we're on the daily chart and this buy side liquidity is representing that external draw on the monthly chart. And right here, whenever we get this candle closure below this low, we now have our market structure shift. And what do you notice whenever we take this low? We rotate back into internal range liquidity, which would give us a setup on the hourly time frame. So after we rotate back into this fair value gap, that can be your entry to target that internal draw on liquidity, which is this red box, which is that fair value gap on the monthly time frame. Now, after we get this displacement higher and a market structure shift on the daily time frame, what becomes the next draw? The external range liquidity on the monthly time frame, which is this high that took out this high over here. So now on the monthly time frame, we are targeting this high and can get our entry on the daily time frame. So after we get our market structure shift down here, we can enter on the first fair value gap that gets tapped into because the external range liquidity is now the draw on the monthly time frame. So heading down to the weekly chart, what happens after we take out this external high right here on the weekly time frame? Your eyes draw to what? It shouldn't draw to these lows. It should draw into this fair value gap right here, which is the internal range liquidity. So here we are on the four hour chart after taking that weekly buy side level. Right here, whenever we get our market structure shift, but take a look right here, we have an internal range liquidity fair value gap on the four hour chart. So our eyes should draw to this high right here. So after taking this high and getting our market structure shift at this low, we can now short the first fair value gap that gets tapped into to target the overall draw on liquidity, which is that weekly imbalance in this red box. So right here, whenever we first tap into that weekly imbalance, we get our market structure shift at this high and we take a fair value gap for our entry. 
So we take this, we can now take our entry off this first fair value gap. And what do you see? This fails. Now I want you to realize not everything works 100%. So you take your loss here. Okay, now we have just swept an old low on the four hour time frame right here. So we swept an old low inside of that weekly fair value gap. And now we get displacement above this high. We now hold the first fair value gap. So we can take our entry on the second fair value gap to guarantee the draw is now the weekly external range liquidity, which is this high up here. So heading down to the hourly chart, we have a fair value gap right here on the hourly chart. So whenever we rotate into that, what time frame aligns with the hourly chart? The five minute and notice there is no fair value gaps that come into play whenever we get into this internal draw on liquidity. So this low right here becomes the draw on liquidity on the hourly chart, which is this external level. So heading down to the five minute time frame. So right here we get our market structure shift, but if you notice there's no displacement below this low and we come into this internal range liquidity on the five minute chart and we hold this internal range liquidity to go to the external draw on the five minute chart. No displacement through a low yet and right here whenever we get displacement through this low and we also take out this external range liquidity, we disrespect the internal range liquidity right here. Now we can guarantee that the draw becomes that hourly external level. Right here's your fair value gap to short and then you target that overall draw on liquidity. Now what do you notice after we take out this external range liquidity? We rotate back into the internal range liquidity here. We take out external here. We rotate back into internal here and then we hit that overall draw on liquidity on the hourly time frame. Now here we are on the 15 minute time frame. After we take out this external high right here, which is this buy side level, what do your eyes draw to? It should draw to this fair value gap right here. Now what time frame aligns with the 15 minute chart? The one minute aligns with the 15 minute chart. So after we get a tap into this internal range of liquidity, we should be looking for setups on the one minute time frame to target the external range of liquidity, which is that high. So let's head down to the one minute time frame. So here we are on the one minute chart. Right here with this candle, we tap into that 15 minute fair value gap. Right here, we get our displacement through a high, creating our market structure shift. And now we have a fair value gap for an entry to target that 15 minute external draw on liquidity. Now you might be thinking, we're back on the 15 minute time frame. After we take the external draw, shouldn't the internal right here be the next draw on liquidity? Well, if you take a look, we take no fair value gap to get through this high. And then we create a market structure shift going through this low. So now this low becomes the draw on liquidity. So with all that being said, I hope you now understand what the difference between external and internal range liquidity is. That is gonna help a lot in the future of this course. So I hope you better understand what the difference between external range liquidity is versus internal range liquidity and how we rotate from taking external range liquidity to internal range liquidity and it all being based upon displacement above highs and below lows. So let's get on to the next module of the trading den.